हेलो एवरी वन आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू फिजिक्स वाला एंड बेसिकली दिस सेशन इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर ऑल दोज स्टूडेंट्स हु आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर नीट एग्जामिनेशन आई नो दैट देर आर लॉट्स ऑफ टॉपिक्स इन योर एंटायर केमिस्ट्री एंड यू गाइज आर वेरी कन्फ्यूज लाइक विच टॉपिक वी हैव टू पिक एंड विच टॉपिक वी कैन एक्चुअली रिमूव और वी कैन मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट Uh, so that we can score good in the examination because syllabus is a very very vast so basically in this session i am going to end this confusion i have collected uh, certain topics or i can say almost 50 topics which are actually very important for your examination and if you want to score good in your chemistry part of neat examination because we know that total marks are actually 180 in that case so you need to be uh, very well prepared you need to score good in the chemistry examination so that you can compensate each and every part if you have some lack in other parts also so i have included all those important topics which are actually relevant to your examination and which were actually previously asked in the neat examination okay so this session is actually important for uh, every 11th class students uh, for 12th class students as well as for all the dropper students who are preparing for neat examination okay so let's start with the first analysis i have divided this entire part into three sessions first part is for inorganic chemistry next part is for organic chemistry and last part is your for physical chemistry and i have included each and every chapter and all these important uh, topics which are relevant so you can prepare the concepts related to those topics as well as the relevant formulas and you will definitely uh, uh, score good in your examination i can uh, seriously say this okay it's it's my my 100% assurance so if you are preparing for those topics uh, definitely you have to study everything but if you are uh, focusing on that topics definitely you are going to score good in the chemistry part of the neat examination so let's start if i'm talking about the first part i'm starting with the inorganic chemistry analysis so in that case you can see we have the chapters like a classification of elements and i have given all the topics which are very relevant you have to uh, understand the exceptional parts you have to understand the important concepts related to these uh, particular portions and you are good to go in the same way if i talk about the chemical bonding all the theories are relevant as well as uh, your dipole moment bond up parameters they are actually very relevant in the same way if i talk about the s block elements fazan's rule is the most important one then you have the compounds of calcium sodium then solution in liquid ammonia thermal decomposition as well as solubility in the same way if i talk about the hydrogen again this chapter is very interesting as well as very important although a very short chapter but yeah the chris part is already there so you can uh, focus on these topics although you have to understand each and every part but you can focus on these topics much more in the same way if i talk about the p block element p block is the most important part of inorganic chemistry you can see the number of topics which are already written so you can focus on these parts and definitely you will score good in the examination if i talk about the d blocks and f block elements again all the uh, parts are already given to you you can just uh, focus on these parts definitely you will uh, have to study each and every part but you can focus on these parts more and if i talk about the coordination compounds as well as the last part which is metallurgy so you can see all the topics are already written for you for simplicity now main thing which i want to mention you have to practice every 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 part because uh, if you practice more number of questions you will be able to answer all those questions which can be asked in the future examinations so i always told uh, uh, tell my students that uh, practice is the most important key and uh, we know that practice means uh, makes a man perfect so basically if you practice more and more number of questions your chances to give a correct answer in the examination are going to be very very high okay now let's start with the next part which is the analysis of organic chemistry and for organic chemistry i especially want to mention that you have to practice n number of questions related to name reactions as well as related to some important aspects of Uh, organic chemistry because organic chemistry is all about practice if you practice more number of questions definitely you will score good because most of the questions are direct questions okay so let's start with the first part which is goc you can see all the topics are already written for you next part is hydrocarbons and again uh, if i talk about hydrocarbon halogen derivatives uh, oxygen containing compounds carbonyl compounds in that case name reactions are very important so all the questions of name reactions are direct and you can like uh, give answers to those questions very easily then we have halogen compounds like this there are certain test also uh, which are very relevant and very important for alcohol phenol and ether all the important topics are already uh, written in front of you then we have carbonyl compounds <coughs> this part is very very important and i have written name reactions so you have to include each and every name reaction just try to understand the mechanism just try to understand what is the concept of that name reaction and practice 
at least five to ten questions related to a, a particular name reaction okay then we have the concept of amines amines in this the case the reactions are highly specific hoffman bromide reaction gabriel thermite synthesis carbalamine reaction you have diode azotization and some tests are there in the same way if i talk about the biomolecules and polymers these are basically theoretical parts so you have to like understand each and every part again i want to mention one part which is your chemistry in everyday life in that case i can say drug interaction is very important what is the meaning of each and every type of drug is very relevant so you just have to read that part from ncrd itself uh, that will be uh, good enough okay now coming back to the last part which is physical chemistry and again for physical chemistry i can say uh, practice of numericals is very important so in organic chemistry the logical explanation in organic chemistry practice of name reaction is very important and for uh, physical chemistry the numerical analysis and uh, retention of the formula in your mind is very very important okay so the first part is mole concept very interesting and very important chapter then atomic structure both are given these are the important topics uh, from which like uh, i found some previous year questions so you can focus on this part and in the same way if I talk about redox reaction and its states of matter you can see clearly the topics are already given to you and equilibrium like that so I have included both the parts of equilibrium chemical as well as ionic equilibrium I'm not saying like these are the uh, only things you have to focus but these are the most important parts if you focus more on these parts your chances uh, of getting good marks are going to increase definitely and uh, next part is the thermodynamics as well as solid state everything is already given to you it depends on you like how you are going to practice this entire part uh, next part is solution chemical kinetics and surface chemistry so this is the entire analysis of the session very uh, short and crisp session i have included each and every part related to the examination point of view which is relevant to you you just have to focus more on these parts and you can see uh, that difference uh, when you are solving a particular uh, paper uh, for neat examination you can see the difference okay so i hope this part is clear to everyone and that is all from my side so i have included all the important topics of inorganic physical as well as organic chemistry and again i want to mention one thing that uh, practice makes a man perfect if you want to like uh, score good in the chemistry examination of uh, neat then i may suggest you to practice more number of questions related to inorganic organic as well as physical chemistry part and you are good to go okay so that's all from my side thank you so much.